Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on this math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started, okay? So, what we're going to be working on today is decomposing fractions. And what do I mean by decomposing? We're just going to go ahead and take a look and see how this fraction came to be. So, the first fraction that we have is 16 sixteenths which is equivalent to 1. Okay, We know that if we have the same numerator and the same denominator, that equals 1 whole. So 16 sixteenths basically means that we added 1 sixteenth 16 times. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 sixteenths we added 1 16th 16 times. Now let's take a look at 15 sixteenths right there. We have our numerator 15, our denominator 16. Look, uh, here we're adding 1 16th 15 times and our and our and our and our denominator, pardon me boys and girls, you know, sometimes I get stuck because I used to stutter quite a bit when I was a little kid, but here we have the 16 is the denominator and what we're doing is we're adding it 15 times because we have our numerator up there. So 1 16th plus 1 16th plus 1 16th and all the way across we have them 15 times equals 15 sixteenths. Let's take a look at the next one. Here we have 14 sixteenths. How many times do you think we have to add 1 16th? That's right, 14 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we've added 1 16th 14 times, and that's how we arrive at 14 sixteenths. That's how we decompose it. The next one is going to be 13 sixteenths. How many times do you think we need to add 1 16th? to get to 13 sixteenths. That's right, 13 times. And look, our denominator stays the same, 16. The next one is going to be 12 sixteenths, okay? How many times do you think we need to add 1 16th in order to get 12 sixteenths? That's absolutely correct, 12 times. And our denominator stays the same. Awesome. Let's take a look at the next one. The next one we have 11 sixteenths. How many times do we need to add 1 sixteenth to make 11 sixteenths? That is absolutely correct, 11 times. Let's take a look at the next one. The next one is 10 sixteenths. And how many times do we need to add 1 sixteenth in order to get 10 sixteenths? That's right, 10. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's right. We added 1 16th 10 times in order to get 10 sixteenths. Let's move this down a bit. Now we have 9 sixteenths. How many times do I need to add 1 16th in order to get 9 sixteenths? And that's going to be correct. 9 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? Let's take a look at 8 sixteenths. How many times do I need to add 1 sixteenth in order to get 8 sixteenths? That's right, 8 times. Next one, we have 7 sixteenths. How many times do I need to add 1 sixteenth in order to get 7 sixteenths? That is correct, 7 times. And let's take a look at 6 sixteenths. How many times do I need to add 1 16th in order to get 6 sixteenths. And that's right, 6 times. Let's take a look at a few more. Here we have 5 sixteenths. How many times do I need to add 1 16th in order to get 5 sixteenths? And that's correct, 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Let's take a look at 4 sixteenths. How many times do I need to add 1 16th in order to get 4 sixteenths? That is correct, 4 times. 1 16th plus 1 16th plus 1 16th plus 1 16th equals 
four sixteenths, right? Now let's take a look at three sixteenths. How many times do I need to add one sixteenth in order to get three sixteenths? And that is correct, three times. One sixteenth plus one sixteenth plus one sixteenth equals three sixteenths. And last one. We have two sixteenths. So in this case, I only add one sixteenth two times. And that's pretty much it. That's how I decompose fractions. So we're going to be working on a few more and a few other lessons, so don't worry, okay? But this concept is pretty easy to master. We're just breaking up that fraction into its smallest pieces so that we know how we arrived at that particular fraction. And that's it, boys and girls. Parents, I want to thank you, and boys and girls, we'll see you very, very soon at our next lesson. In the meantime, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.